If you're paying private mortgage insurance, you already know. It's awful. I mean, it can add hundreds of dollars a month toward your monthly mortgage payment. Obviously, you want to get this thing off your monthly payment as soon as humanly possible. And thankfully, there's several paths uh, to removing that PMI from your payment. But as a spoiler alert, um, you might not be able to actually remove this thing. And I'll get to that in a minute. But in this video, we're going to remove... Uh, what the heck is PMI insurance in the first place? Okay. And I think most of you guys know that, but we'll just do a brief overview. Uh, next is your rights to remove PMI from your home with the homeowners protection act. Next, we're going to dive straight into the wrench in the wheel. And the short story is that mortgage insurance payments on FHA loans after 2013 cannot be canceled for the duration of the loan. It's insane. Uh, but we're going to go after your options here. Lastly, we'll just review what everyone else can do to remove PMI off your monthly bill so that we can start saving for that Southeast Asia vacation, right? Um, wh whatever it is. So PMI, uh, it's a type of mortgage insurance that protects the lender in the case that a borrower defaults on their mortgage. Okay, so if you if, if your down payment is less than 20% of the home value, then you're usually required to get private mortgage insurance. And this is... Uh, added to the annual cost, and it's typically about 0.3 to 1.5% of the mortgage cost. So evened out, uh, it typically means that you can expect to pay between $30 to $70 in PMI for every $100,000 of loan principal. What you actually pay just depends on your credit score, the amount of your down payment, and whether this is an FHA loan or a conventional loan. Good news is that your PMI is usually recalculated each year based on the current size of your loan. So the premium sh could perhaps decrease as you pay down the loan. Okay. Uh, all right. Before we get to the confusing part here, let's acknowledge what the other videos, blogs, and probably what your uncle Steve is reiterating to you. Okay. And they might be correct. Um, you kind of have a right to remove PMI from your loan, home loan, right? After certain qualifications have been made. The name of that federal legislation is called the Homeowners Protection Act. And it's uh, also been referred to as the PMI Cancellation Act. Okay. A lot of syllables here um, and uh, acronyms, but basically folks before 1998 were having trouble getting lenders to release their PMI policy. So federal legislation was passed to force them to terminate that PMI at a specific home equity milestone. Okay, um, so if you have a conventional loan or if your FHA loan was open prior to June 3rd of 2013, this is your lucky day, <laughs> all right? So uh, if you've made your payments on time, your loan balance is below 78% of the last FHA appraised value or you know conventional amount, um, then your lender has to cancel your mortgage insurance today. By law, right? By law, which is great news, okay? The reason that this is such a confusing video, though, and maybe why you're watching this right now, is because FHA loans on or after June 3rd of 2013 became non-cancelable. That's right. So these FHA loans skip over that federal legislation, and you are now permanently married to your private mortgage insurance, as long as it's in place. And that's because that these government-backed FHA loans, and I've heard the same for VA loans. I'm not gonna an expert on everything here, right? But these FHA loans are operating under a different set of rules. Like these PMI amounts aren't only higher than conventional mortgages, they are also stuck on the loan through maturity. So what do you do from here? Well, I purchased many properties subject to the existing mortgage, and I'm currently attempting to appeal these PMI payments, but my hopes, they honestly, they are not up. So if that doesn't work, the only real remedy you've got here is just to refinance into a conventional loan. Now, this might actually be a great idea anyway, especially if mortgage rates have dropped since your original loan. Uh, with today's rising home values, homeowners might be surprised at how much equity they actually have. And, and with a refinance, you can actually use your home's current appraised value from a new appraisal uh, rather than the original purchase price. Now, even if you don't have enough equity to refi without PMI, you can still probably convert yourself from an FHA PMI into a conventional PMI. 
Um, and, and what that'll do for you is basically just ensure that you're going to be protected under the homeowners protection act, right? So you, you're going to, you're not going to stay in that exemption with FHA PMI. Okay. So you'll, you'll pay a lower PMI payment and then additionally be enabled to remove that payment after you've met the necessary requirements. Hey, if you're getting any value here, throw me a quick like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. Please go on ahead and do that right now. So if you've got conventional PMI, then here is typically the requirements that you need to get it removed from your monthly escrowed payment. Um, one is be current on your mortgage payments with good payment history. This is always going to be really important for everyone. Usually it's going to be about 12 months they want to see of good payment history. Okay. Next is uh, meet the lender's other requirements, such as showing that there's no other liens on the home, right? So if you've not been paying your HOA payment, whatever it might be, get that all handled. That's really important. Don't show any liens on there. Why would they remove the PMI if like the, you're looking really low, high risk, like somebody else could foreclose on it with some other lien? Uh, and then next is uh, if required, you might need to get a home appraisal. Okay, so if your home value has declined, you might not be able to cancel the PMI. Now, in uh, the last, I don't know, 10 years, for the most part, um, your property value has just been increasing. So it, most likely that does not apply to you unless for whatever reason something happens after this video. But um, you can just go get it reappraised and you should be able to cancel your PMI. And then lastly is uh, make the PMI cancellation request to your lender in writing, right? So go on ahead and throw it out there. What I'm doing right now, even with these FHA ones, is I am currently trying to appeal them, and we'll see if there's anything that can get done there. Uh, but nonetheless, is um, is that you just throw it in writing, send it out to them, have something documented. So, hey, if this video was helpful, you should probably subscribe.